to my next topic. So there is some sort of viral YouTube video, and I'm going to I'm gonna play it for you um, here in just a second, and I'm, and I'm going to comment throughout. Um, an Instagram thought by the name of Jessie Taylor, I had never heard of her before today. I mean, she's just your typical Instagram ho. She's got, you know, she's got big tits and, you know, she has a decent looking face. Um, but she lost her Instagram channel and she just lost her shit and she pleaded out to the internet. Da, 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 da. I'm going to play that for any second. A couple of things to note here before I play, before I play this clip. Number one, Jesse Taylor used to be a stripper and she was a stripper for a little over three years. Well, she's only 21, which meant that she was a strip. She was a stripper illegally, right? She probably started stripping at 17 years old, maybe even, maybe even sooner than that. Um, what this means, if you started stripping as a teenager, you are literally good for nothing. I've said, I've said it before many, many times, hot girls are useless because they've never really had to be useful. Anytime, anytime you make money, anytime a female in the 21st century makes money based solely on the way she looks, they're going to get money. They're going to get resources. They're going to get offers from men, etc. They become useless because they never have to be useful. I compare that to Michael Vick. Michael Vick, most electrifying college football player I have ever seen. Never, he, ne- he didn't learn to start reading defenses until he came here to Philly. He is two years removed. He was, he, was ju- he was, what, two years removed from prison. He's a little bit slower, still athletic, but now he's got to learn to read defenses. Why? Because he's a little slower. In college and when he was with the Falcons, never had to learn to read defenses because he could just run around. It's the same with hot girls. Hot girls have never been useful. Hot girls are useless because they've never really had to be useful. They're useless because they've never had to be useful. And um, and this is <laughs> listen. This is indicative of this particular uh, of this particular video. Listen. Apparently, she made racist comments, which I don't really give a shit about. But the real reason why these people ended up reporting her is because she's a typical bitch. Like, hey, hi haters, bye haters. You guys can't touch me. They reported her enough. And when people on the internet don't like you, they go after your livelihood, especially if it is on the internet. So I'm going to play this clip for you. I'm going to stop it, um, you know, periodically to give my comments on it. So without further ado, here is Jesse Taylor pleading to the public. Here we go. And my Instagram account got deleted. And I've tried to get it back. I'm calling everybody. Oh, my God. Already. She's already crying, right? A female's number one weapon is tears that's what they do anytime a woman doesn't get her way she uses tears and 10 times out of nine times out of 10 it works i can't and i don't know why it's not working out she clearly can't handle this and apparently she called the cops because i think she said something to do like this felt like murder just just, again just 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 a bunch of bullshit just typical female rhetoric me i've been all lay because of this i've been all lay because i want to be on instagram okay so like look at her fi- look at her hands she has the cat claw fingernails the cat claw fingernails are, are are two dead giveaways the first dead giveaway is that you are a bitch and the second dead giveaway is that you're a slut if you have cat claw fingernails instead of the typical you know feminine fingernails you are a slutty bitch no cat claw fingernails ladies do not make you a boss bitch it means you're just a bitch. And I'm randomly just recording this to put this in the video. <laughs> I, I'm not. Look at the pearl clutching, all the body language. Uh, yeah, cry, cry me a fucking river, bitch. Nothing without my following. <laughs> there it is. I'm nothing without my following. That's the problem. Girls these days literally base their entire worth off of false online validation. She probably doesn't have any real, tangible, in-the-flesh friends. She said it herself, I'm nothing without my following. She really believes that she's nothing. Look at her. She really, really believes that she is nothing without her following, and it's it's probably true. I'm nothing without my following. <laughs> <laughs> and when people try to hate on me and report me, I've literally tried to be a better person. Bullshit. Bullshit. When people report you, when people report Instagram hoes, Instagram sluts, she doesn't try to be a better fucking person. Get the fuck out of here. She's the kind of bitch, really, you can, all, you can already tell. She's the kind of bitch who talks shit about her haters, and she gives them fuel. Gentlemen, guess what? I've made this mistake before. When I went in on Healthy for Hillary, I firmly believe that she's the one who led to my first YouTube channel getting taken down. I go in on people on Facebook all the time. 
And when you and, and this is the interesting thing. People report me, it's mainly black men and black women, right? When black men and black women report me on Facebook, it's because I've struck a nerve, number one. The second thing that leads to them reporting me is they go through my Facebook feed to try to find something detrimental to troll me about. But guess what? When they go through it, they don't find anything. They see pictures of me with this bitch, with that bitch. They see my girlfriend. They see Devin. They see her huge tits. They see her awesome ass. They see her long blonde hair. And they figure out, holy shit. Subconsciously, like, dude, there's really no, there, there's really nothing I can point out about this guy that can really hurt him. One bitch, which is the last person that reported me, and I'll be out of, I'll be out of Facebook jail here in a couple of days. She actually took my, I had my before and after picture up there. She cut my before picture and she says, is this you, sir? And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, you went through my Facebook feed and couldn't find anything. So you're using my before picture, which clearly I don't look like now. And of course, because I trolled the shit out of her, she went, she ended up going and reporting me and I got banned on Facebook for 30 days. Well, this is what happened with her. She, listen, when trolls and, 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 and haters get on you, a lot of times, guys, you really do have to refrain from that. But because females are, all, because females never, ever, ever suffer consequences for their actions and this kind of stuff happens, you get crocodile tears like this bitch. I want to say to everybody that's been reporting me, think twice because you're <laughs> ruining my life because I make all of my money online, all of it, and... I don't want to lose that. And I know. Bitch, you already lost it. Like, it's already gone. People like to see me be down and be like them and be like the 90 percenters, the people that work nine to five. That is not me. Oh, no, 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 no. That is you, baby girl. Bitch, you're not special. You, listen, if you move to LA. Oh, hold on. I think I'm getting ahead of myself. Hang on. I am in LA. There it is. You moved to LA, Jesse, to be like the people in LA. Don't try to act like, and people always move to LA. I get, I used to get a lot of this in Vegas. Well, I didn't come out to Vegas for the nightlife. Then what the fuck did you come to Vegas for? No, you're not special. You moved out to LA because you want to be a silicone fuck doll, just like every other blonde haired bimbo out there and try to fuck your way into some sort of movie role. And you end up as strippers or prostitutes at some point down the line. Then you move to Vegas because it's kind of sort of legal and there, there's no state income tax. Okay. Listen, she's already had plastic surgery. Look at her lips. Look at her lips. To not be like that. It works so hard to get to where I'm at and for that to get bitch you didn't work hard you are a female with big tits and a decent face there is nothing hard about being an Instagram whore get the fuck out of here with that take it from me is the worst feeling in the world it literally sucks having people want to come after you for no reason oh no reason nah bitch they come after you because you're a bitch and people hate people people listen people hate on what they can't have Straight up. What, listen, listen, welcome to the real fucking world. It hurts. And I don't think people understand that, like, this is my life. I am nothing. I was a prostitute. Ah, I was a prostitute. This, listen, this go again, this goes to verify the fact. Verify, verify, give credence to. Guys, most strippers are fucking tricking on the side, dude. Listen, she dances on the pole in the front. She takes poles in the back, man. Dude, nine out of, well, I don't, I don't know what the percentages are, but dude, most strippers, most showgirls, they double as prostitutes. Dude, some bitches go and they dance on the pole. They make a couple of hundred bucks. Then they go back. They get fucked by somebody, make another couple of hundred bucks, come back out and dance with a set. That, listen, this is what happens. Dude, listen, belly full of semen vagina uterus full of semen they're out there dancing on the pole and you still got dudes out there throwing money at her unbelievable unbelievable for god's sake i was a prostitute i stripped every single day i don't even do that anymore because i make all of my money online i don't want to go back to that life oh but you will sweetheart you will go back to that life baby girl you see once a female gentleman works in the sex trade and I mean a sex trade on any level. Stripper, whether you're a call girl, prostitute, cam girl, escort, porn star, cam girl. They always end up back in the business one way or the other, guys. Listen, girls don't want to have to work in the sex trade if they don't have to. Right? Girls, dude, I heard all these girls say, oh, I just love being a stripper, bitch. No, you don't. I love doing porn. 
No, you don't. Roland Tomasi was on my show yesterday, and he he put it best. Females make their necessities a virtue. I'm here to tell you guys, no female likes actually likes getting ass to mouth by three niggas on camera. They don't like that shit. They do it because they have to. They know they have to do it, so they make necessity a virtue. I love getting gang banged by three guys, three black, three black guys with 12 inch dicks. It makes me feel empowered. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> From the bottom of my heart, it sucks. And the people that are laughing at this, <laughs> wanting me to get my account deleted. Imagine if you were in my shoes. I was abandoned from my f family. Oh, cry me a fucking river, bitch. Abandoned by your family? I, you know, I wonder why. You know what's interesting, man? A lot of these girls who end up working in the sex trade, like especially in Vegas. Listen, very few people are born and raised in Vegas. I met, listen, I met girls. I met strippers from all around. Florida, Vermont, New York, Texas. And one thing that a lot of them had in common is that they don't really talk about their past life. Well, what did you do before this? Eh, it's a long story. Or I don't fuck with my family anymore. Oh, really? See, what a lot of these girls don't tell you is that they have burned their bridges many times over. Maybe they, may, maybe she fucked her stepdad, right? Maybe she ended up fucking all the boyfriends of her mother. Maybe she fucked all the boyfriends of her friends. Like, dude, girls don't end up on the pole in Vegas for just no reason. They don't end up on the pole in Vegas just because they just, they were just a good person and they caught a few bad breaks. Oh, no, 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 no. Your women never tell you the whole story. My whole family abandoned me, sweetheart. Your whole family abandoned you. It's probably your fault. I've been backstabbed from everybody I know, <laughs> except for maybe two people, three people in my. Life. Oh wait a minute. Oh 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 oh. There it is. She says except for maybe two people, three people in her life. Now, <laughs> the two people that haven't backstabbed her, I can promise you, are men. Okay. I can promise you are men. Then she thought, wait a minute, there's this one girl who hasn't backstabbed me yet, right? The two people that haven't backstabbed her are those thirsty beta males that she actually knows personally that gasses her ass up. The one person that hasn't, the, the, the third person that hasn't backstabbed her yet, probably a female, but guess what? I can guarantee you that bitch is sharpener, sharpening her knife right now. You want to know why we all know Cynthia G got pregnant is because her best friend stabbed her in the back. That's what happens, guys. Hashtag bitches be bitches. Let's continue. I have three people in my life that's not backstabbed me yet. <laughs> okay? Like, try to be in my shoes for once because I guarantee you, none of you would f us in my shoes. And I just got back from f San Fran and drove seven hours to try to get a verification just for my account to delete it. Stop reporting me, bro. Bro? Again, guys, when girls use the word bro, they act masculine and masculine acting bit dude, masculine acting bitches 11 times out of 10 are all sluts. They're all hoes. What some of you guys have to realize is I have no skills. I'm 20. Wait a minute. No skills. Well, sure you do. You can suck and fuck just like the other useless sluts online, right? With half decent bodies. You got skill. Listen, listen. We can all sit here and bag on the sex trade all you want. A female's youth and beauty, that is a commodity. It's not an investable commodity. But guess what? Strippers, prostitutes, porn stars, you do that for a living. Most women are not willing to work in the sex trade. You are. The fewer people that either can or are willing to do your job, the more money you make. If every girl was a stripper, then guess what? Then strippers wouldn't make any money. But... This girl says she has no skills. No, she has no skills that she actually, she has no skills she wants to use. She has very good skills. She has very good skills. Listen, this girl's going to end up in porn. This girl's going to end up in porn. $1,000 in debt from school, from college. Okay, what school? What college? Like, get the hell out of here. Like, you, you've stripped since you were 17, 18 years old, and now you're 21. You just lost your Instagram account, right? So you were stripping, making a bunch of money. You figured out, oh, I can, I can make money. I don't have to take my clothes off and fuck and fuck strangers for money. And now you lost her. And now you lost her Instagram account. Make that make sense. This bitch didn't go to school. She is literally making this up. What school did you go to? Listen, dude, women, dude, strippers forever telling, yep, I strip because I'm going to school, dude. I have never, I have never, ever, ever seen a stripper actually go to school. Really, show me your transcript. What school do you go to? 
That's always, well, I strip because I go to school. No, you strip because you have no other skills but youth and beauty and the willingness to take your clothes off for and fuck strangers. That's it. So I can't even go to college if I wanted to. I used to work at McDonald's before I did YouTube, Instagram, before I had a- Wait a minute. You used to do, you used to work at McDonald's before you did Instagram and YouTube? So McDonald's or stripper? Which is it? See, again- this is what I'm talking about. Bitches lie, gentlemen. Bitches lie. But anytime a woman, anytime a female is trying to convince anybody of something, dude, they always lie. Here's an listen. Here is another Donovanism. I need to come up. You know, Rolo Tomasi has the Iron Rules of Tomasi. This is Donovanism number one or whatever. A female's tears are only genuine when she is by herself. If she has an audience of even one person, those are crocodile tears. Those are, these are not real tears, gentlemen. They are crocodile tears for all the world to see. 100,000 followers before I had everything in my life. I was a loser. Like working at McDonald's. Not saying there's anything wrong with people working at McDonald's because I worked there. Oh, there you go. Listen, she's backpedaling, right? She doesn't want, listen, she doesn't want, she doesn't want to catch the heat. She don't want to catch heat from people who work at McDonald's. She doesn't want to catch heat from people who work in fast food. Oh, no, 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 no. She don't want to do that. But I don't want to go back to that life. I'm perfect. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, we're good? Yeah, hang on. Uh, hang on, GLO. Hang on, GLO. I'm going to turn you down here real quick so I can finish this. All right, yeah, mute yourself if you would, uh, GLO, so I can uh, so I can finish this uh, segment here. Sorry about that. I got my next guest on the line. I'm trying to finish this, uh, this here segment here. Yeah, see, the thing is this, guys. She can, okay, she can work in this other trade. The problem is she just don't want to. She, listen, she does not want to. And I'm going to let you in on something else here, gentlemen. I'm going to let you, this is why sex workers can never work a normal job after being in the sex trade. The money is too good, guys. The attention is too addictive. Going from stripping to working in an office, it's impossible. Going from doing porn to working a regular job, impossible. Dudes aren't throwing money at you. You're not getting attention. And now you're making $500 a week before taxes sitting in office when before you were making 500 bucks a night on the pole. When before you were making $500 a night from fucking dudes in the back. When before you were making $500 per shoot doing porn. Oh, no, no, no. She is going back into the sex trade. Guys, I guarantee fucking tea it. I'm really happy where I'm at. And... I have no job qualifications. I could never work a normal job. I'm worthless. I have, I bring nothing to the table. Zero. I bring nothing to the table when it comes to that. I always get into fights with people. I always get kicked out of places. Always get into fights with people and always get kicked out of places. There it is, guys. Th listen, this again, dude, this is verification of so many things on so many levels. Gentlemen, pretty girls are bitches because they can be, okay? They get away with shit because more men want to fuck them than men that don't. Pretty, dude, listen, beautiful females are fucking bitches, guys. They don't have a reason to be nice. They don't have a reason to be decent human beings. They get cat claw fingernails. They use the word bro. They talk shit about people. Then all of a sudden when people actually can bite back, oh, now you want to cry these fucking crocodile tears, Right? This is what got her ass kicked off of Instagram, and she can't handle it. She's telling us, oh, they kicked me off for nothing. Nah, you're a bitch, sweetheart. Like, I'm not work material. I will never be work material. So stop reporting me on mother Instagram. The last thing I want to do is be a homeless prostitute in the street doing meth. That is a lot. Yeah, sweetheart, you're not going to be, I don't know, she might be a homeless prostitute doing meth, maybe in about 10, 15 years. But... Yeah, like you are going to end up back in the sex trade. I don't think I want to do so stop trying to ruin my life. All the ice Poseidon trolls out there. Oh, she listen. She could not help herself in the end. Couldn't help herself in the end, right? Oh, I tried to be a better person, and I tried this and try that. She tried to make listen. She 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 tried to appeal to our softer side, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But in the end, she could not help her bitchy nature. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable.